Hi Snappers, Catherine here from Snap Booster. Today I'm going to show you how you can update your personal information within the Snap Booster reporting application. So to orient you again, once again we've gone to snapbooster.reportwizard.info, we've logged in, we've clicked this Snap Stats here, and in the submenu we've gone to Snapper Info. When you go here, you'll see a different, uh, different series of information grouped together. The first is going to be the snapper information. This will include your name, um, your phone number, and your email address. If you go down, you'll see your address. If you've already given that to us, that will be inputted. Um, if not, feel free to go ahead and answer it there. And then finally at the bottom, you'll see some other information. The first one's created by and update by. Um, this simply has to do, if you see here it says load snap participants, that simply was the name of the file that we uploaded to the system when you reported. So that's simply what that is. And then if you see here create date, create date is would be the first day that you ever, uh, that you, that you registered. So for this particular snapper they registered on June 21st, 2004 at this time. Now if you see update here, that update will represent any time that this snapper updated their information. So for this particular snapper, it will look down below. This update came from when he changed from one group to another. So that's just an orientation of what the information is. If you want to change any of that information, you can simply go here to this edit button. You'll just click it. And when you click it, you'll be able to see that you can edit it. So um, you can edit the name, the phone number, you can insert your address, and then once you've done that, click, click, simply click save and the information will be saved. Now, we're going to go ahead and click this back to snapper information view so we can go ahead and view what is happening down here. Now, you'll see down here that there's this chart and this will show how long you have snapped for each particular group. Now, some of you will only have been snapping for one group or one program and so you'll only see one name here whereas other of you have snapped for five ten different groups over the course of your snapper existence and so you'll see a bunch of other things here um, if you want to manipulate that data you can click on any of these things and you'll see that it will be switched if you want to see first date or the most recent date that you signed up for a group you signed up for but then you'll go ahead and you'll see this new here now if you want to change what group or program you're snapping for simply go ahead and select new and then you'll see that there's an option to insert this. So when you insert the sign-up code, as you start typing it in, let's say that this person, um, we're just going to use holding even though he's already in this group, but we're just going to do this as an example. Um, let's say this person wants to go and move to the holding group, which is a group that will, um, which is a group that if you ever are in between seasons or in between teams, if you switch to the holding group, will account for all of your snaps and then we'll transfer your funds over. But let's say you want to go to holding group. As you type in the word holding, the actual group will come up. You can just click on it. Now you'll see there's a participant first name here. What you're going to type in here, the participant is either the student or the athlete if you're snapping for a sports team that you want to be snapping for. So I'll just say um, student number one. Their last name is last name. This is just an example. And then you're going to go ahead and put your relationship type here. So um, I'll just say that this person is my sibling. So this will be able to attribute um, my snaps to this one individual. Um, we're also, I forgot to do this, we're going to need to add the begin date. So we're just going to say today, and that will enter it in right there. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click this update button right here. And when you update it, it will show, it will show the updates down here in this chart. And then once you start snapping, all the, all the snaps from that point forward will be attributed to your new group. So that is how you can start signing up for a new group if you want to change it within here. So um, that is all for updating your information. If you have any questions or need any help, simply email us at snapinfo at snapbooster.com and we'll get you all squared away. Alrighty, have a good one.